DJ Shaw B.
Illegal formation. Against the Thunder. So we got fourth and long. It would just, it would so shock me if they even bothered to go for it. We need to punt it here. Fourth and twenty-eight to be exact. Do you know is there a uh, time when Ben Thompson will be back? I have no idea. I haven't heard. We will try. To He's gonna out. run it. What's He's going got on space. here? He's, He's got room. He slowed down. Oh, that is frustrating. He ran, got a couple of yards. So we got first and ten. First and ten for the English Valleys. Ten fifteen to play in the third quarter. First and ten bears. On her center, it's a pitch. He's running his flag. Zach He's got room. Finally taken down. Robbie Siler brings him down. You just gotta go with the thunder. First and 24 Pass. play action. Completes it. Before being taken down. Second and 24. Under center is Smith, the quarterback. Got room. Yep. First down and more for number 21, Brennan Grimm, the senior for the Bears. Just a massive game there. Second and 24, that's. It's actually only third and one now. But uh yeah, second twenty-four and now third and short. I remember that play earlier in the game where it was third and twenty-three for the Bears and they converted. I mean these big gains these big gains are are coming on almost every drive. First down. And he's finally brought down. And it's Zach Axmere. First ten now for English Valleys again. First and goal. Who's that going out? Can you see? I cannot see. Yeah, it's on the opposite side. Yeah, it's a handoff right in the middle. He got through. Touchdown, Bears! Touchdown, Bears! 
Who was that on the tackle? That, that was a good. Oh, Austin Meyer. Austin Meyer. Great, great tackle by Austin Meyer. Right up the middle to make the stop. 35-6. English Valley's leads. Grandview Christian. 8:30 to play in the third quarter. We'll be back. Thunder need a big play. I mean, they haven't gone hardly anywhere tonight. They need a big play downfield or a big run, just something to get them to believe. Something to get them back in it. Mentally them first, yeah, yeah. There we go. Tyler Crab, back to pass. Pump fake. Oh, he's got a man, he's got a man back there. It's Noah Bush. Oh, he got That's him. Great catch. Amazing. What did I just say before the play? They need a big gain. There it is right there. A great, huge momentum shift from the Great pass, great catch. The thunder, my bad. Did it. Formally. I timed my comment at the right time, but they needed a big game. And it's Next track snap to Antonio Aerosmith. Uh, this isn't going nowhere. It gets dragged back. How do we get second down and three? Here we go. 
Crab. Look at, he's right over there! No one on, Robbie Seiler and Tyler Crab gets sacked. Brings up fourth and five. Siler was in the end zone. No one on him whatsoever. And if there could have been any way for us to just yell at Tyler and just tell him, got a guy there. Really should have. Always a lot easier up here. And he's, he's looking. He's got an, another man. This play is going nowhere. It's going to be a turnover. Bears football. They lead 35 to six. Second and seven now. Five, ten, and counting to play in the third quarter. Picks up a couple. That was Cody Seaton who was injured earlier in the game. Good to see him back out on the field. chains again. It's a handoff. It's a handoff. It's taking off pretty quick. Game of the Buffalo. 24, Zach Axmere. There are a million people up here. Here we go. Ball 
snap. Number six runs it outside. Takes down the hook. No hook on the tackle as the doctor is seeking. Maybe one of the players, third and third three. And about three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a handoff. Trying to get to the side. This is the tackle. Finally brought down at about the 20. Not seeing on the play again. Gets it down to the defender. Line. So for another Bears first down. First down. The first Bears first Touchdown Bears. week we travel to HLV Victor. I believe Ben Thompson will be back. I, I've heard he's expected to be back for next week. Tonight was tonight was more uh, to be cautious with the injury. Definitely. Obviously his senior season still, you know, early in the season, so you don't want to risk anything. It's Tyler Crabb at quarterback for the Thunder Throws of Grandview Christian. He's got an open man. He's going to pick up the first down and a couple more yards. 
Mitch Cole, 33 for the Grandview Christian Thunder. So we have a running clock. Yeah, sure do. 35 point lead for English Fallons. Got 15 seconds here to snap the ball. Got 8 seconds. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to get this final playoff. One second. Nope. Oh, they got oh, it. Oh, they got it. Wow. Antonio Aerosmith running it. Gain of a couple. 41-6. English Valley's leads Grandview Christian. We're about to begin the fourth quarter. Hang with us. We'll be back. Second and seven. Back to pass. Now oh, right through his hands. They're going to call it incomplete. Grammy Christian coming up to the line here. <laughs> here we go. Tyler Crab receives the snap. Looks to pass. Has had time. Has time. Oh! Right his hands. Caleb Humberg misses that. To be honest, it looked like it hit like his legs. Fourth down, seven. That would have picked up the first down and those little things that will, that will really hurt you. Was it the second quarter when the Thunder scored? Yeah. Oh, so. yeah, we, we, like four minutes to go in the first half, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was it, who scored? Do you remember? I do not remember. Oh. Uh, Back to pass. He threw it, got it off. He oh, got it! Right. And he's taken down about the 19. First down and 10, Grandview Christian. I believe it was Noah Burt who scored that first touchdown. I, I think that's right. I yeah. kind of remember saying that. If they get the touchdown here, I believe the clock will stop. Mm -hmm. We'll be... Under 35 points, so we'll see what they can do. Is about 10 minutes pass. to go. Gets it off. Bert. Mm. Yep. Got by a couple. Got by another. He's gotten past quite a few and is finally taken down and out of bounds. Great running by Bert. Picks up the first down. Shakes off a couple tacklers to get there. That's the effort we've been wanting to see all night. got 12 yards until the end zone. About 9 minutes, 15 seconds to go. 
Got a crab back to receive the snap. Gets it. Tries to run up the middle. Gain of maybe, maybe one. one. Yeah. Is that about the ten? I guess that'll make it second and ten. Second and the eight or is it ten? Second and eight. Kind of hard to tell with yeah. these markings playing the, on an 11-man Yeah, they're trying to get field. to the two-yard line to pick up the first down. That would be. Tyler Crabb drops back to pass. Four receivers. Has time, and he's going to run it. And gain of a couple. They're at about the one. First and goal. Clock still running. Need a touchdown here. They've, they're really close here. They're not going to get any closer than this. Yeah, they'll have uh, four downs to do it. First and goal from the one. Time out. Six to forty one. We'll be back. DJ Shaw B. but it's going to be second and goal at the one, so. They are literally just an inch away. going to cost him. Bears. English Valleys get the ball. Crucial mistake there. Completely just cost the Thunder. First and ten for English Valley. Six minutes to go in the game. Cranview just needs to stop. They need something so they can continue believing. Uh, turnovers besides football games, and they've had a few of those tonight. Oh, yeah. Especially that one. The one yard. It was just I inches mean, there. It was less than a yard away from six points. Oh, it's got to be the most irritating thing to watch. So far tonight, that 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 play right there has probably been the most frustrating for the coaches to guess. That would be my guess. That play. Valleys, he gets through the line. Oh boy! Shakes room. off a couple tacklers. 
Can this be a touchdown saving tackle? And it was, but there is a flag down. It's just a simple handoff and picks up, gets 55 yards. Waiting for the call here. down still they had enough yards 50 yard run to the Bears ball snap handoff and he's pretty much taken down right at the line of scrimmage second down He's getting counted by the Thunder for a game of one, maybe second and nine. Second and nine coming up for the Bears. Already with a 35 point lead. Looks back to pass, gets the pass off, it's tipped. Tipped around, yep. And there's a flag. At on the field. Fourth and three or so. English Valleys with nothing to lose if they go for it. We expect Tim Thompson to be back next week. Really hope he is. For HLV victory? Especially against HLV. He was out against HLV last year in the playoffs. Robbie Seiler was also out that game. It's a pass. It's completed. First yes, down and more. Oh, he got by What a him. great Touchdown, move. Touchdown, English Valleys. Forty-six yards for the junior Coppinger. On the fourth down as well. Fourth and three, yep. Makes it 47 to six. Two forty five to play. And looks like they're gonna try to kick it. Zach Axman. And kick it for the Bears and gets it up. Nice kick. No good. Or no good. Eyes are playing tricks on me. Forty seven six. Bears lead. It's hard to, it's hard to see that at this low of an angle. Two forty five to play. The Thunder, only six points on the board. We'll be back.
And we're back. English Valley Valleys just scored. And that's going to be a touchback. Very great kick. Cameron, I'm a little bit disappointed. I found out this afternoon it's International Talk Like a Pirate Day. We could have talked like a pirate all, all, all night on the stream. <laughs> Would have been a lot of fun. I'm totally thinking about doing that. <laughs> no way will you hear that from from me. <laughs> Two forty five to play. Crab. And his quarterback is once again Ben Thompson was hurt last week in the seven to sixty two loss to Don Bosco. <laughs> to play now. Crab. Shotgun. He's looking. He's going to fire the ball deep. And, and it's intercepted. It that, if it wasn't already completed, that's the final nail in the coffin. That really is. Might as well just run out the Timeout by the English Valleys. We'll be back. Valley's lead is 47 to 6 on Grammy Christian. Minute 10 to play in the final quarter. Next week, Grandview Christian will travel to HLV Victor, trying to get revenge from their 0 to 60 loss last year in the playoffs. Then it's the homecoming game, obviously right here at Spring Creek Sports Complex. That will be against Colo Nesco, and as I mentioned before, those Two teams are dead even, so that will be a fun one. Meanwhile, incomplete pass brings up third and seven. After Colonesco, yet another long drive. That day it will be to Dunkerton. Obviously, you play eight-man football, you're going to have some drives. And so Dunkerton, that, just north of Waterloo. Yeah, so. But then that will be the final away game of the season. They will finish... The last two games at home, Tri-County and then the Squawky Settlement. Thirty-five. And now thirty and counting down.
So Granby Christian will go to two and two. Losing. Winning the first two games of the season and these last two ending up on the wrong side of the school board. That is going to do it. English Valleys moves on. 47 to 6 victory for the Bears. Granby Christian with that one score in the second quarter. And that's all they're going to get tonight. Next week, HLV Victor. Hopefully we'll be able to go to that game and stream it. We're going to try to. We're going to contact some people and see if we can get it going. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Cameron Tarbell. And I'm Grant Thompson. Signing off. Thank you for watching.